great. Hey, what happened with Florio? Florio tweeted this morning, I did a little throwback Thursday. You know, Thursdays are a fun day to kind of look back on your life. Fox, mm -hmm. he sent me this photo of a pro football talk article and headline when I retired. Pat McAfee leaves $2.75 million on the table. I think it was like five something, but. I saw this, yeah. Potentially owes the Colts 400000 Mike Florio, five years ago, pro football talk. I mean, that was just something that happened. So I said, you know, it'll all work out. You know why? Because it has to. And that is a real thing. What, what is, if it doesn't work out, what, death? No, so everything has to work out. Like, I think that's a pretty good way to view some stuff, and it's how I've basically viewed everything in my life. Uh, and at that moment, there was obviously a lot of chatter about how dumb I was, and that article was just a headline mm -hmm. that basically, you know, encapsulated everything that kind of happened. He put a tweet and said, like, I don't know what happened. We were once friends, and now you're taking It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You're not taking a shot here. Not at all. No, no. I, didn't, I didn't think so either. But a lot of people who don't like Florio were responding to that tweet, you know. I didn't even put it together that Florio wrote it. I didn't. I just saw the headline. It's right down there at the bottom left yeah. corner. I, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm saying. Five years ago. But I could have, if I would have cropped it, we would have got out to five years ago, which is pretty vital to the entire mm -hmm. thing. Would he have felt better if you would have, like, whited out his name? I don't know. It doesn't even matter because the pro football talks on the top. And, I think everyone would have assumed. Mike Florio. Yeah. And he would have got the tweets no matter what. So I just let him know, like, hey, I got no problem with you, bub. No problem at yeah. all. He's, uh, got a, he's got a book out, Game book Changer, right? I think. Yeah. 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 Book. Yeah. He has a book. He has yeah. an absolute book out. He just, he's great for the NFL because the way he covers things comes from an angle of somebody that I've never encountered in my life before. You know? What, what is that? Just seems like he has. A the lawyer? Yes, a yeah. lawyer, and he has the ability to break down, like, the, you know, because what we're realizing is a lot of bad stuff happens during the offseason that you have to cover on the day-to-day. -day. So the way he breaks things down, it makes it much easier for us all to understand, but also it seems like it is a lot of the negative stuff that he is breaking down. So we go the vastly opposite direction mostly, but we are always very appreciative, I think, of Florio. Gumpy was anti-Florio for a bit. Yeah, but Because Florio didn't want football. Correct. Mm -hmm. he was the war. Dr. Florio. The Florio was against football? The war yes. Football. Mm -hmm. When COVID was coming back, Florio was not happy that the NFL was doing something that the rest of the world was not doing, I believe, is when Gumpy started to hate him because Gumpy's like, we need fucking football. And Florio, you're one of the most important voices in football. So when he came out a little bit against it, I think that's when Gumpy checked out of the Florio camp. But with that being said, he's really the only one, I, I think. Yeah, just because Gumpy hates someone, you can't hold that against him. Yeah, he everybody. Hates everybody. Yeah, mm -hmm. everybody basically will be except for the love of his life. That's right. And we I was also on that train, though, too. I can't just sit here quietly. Yeah, I don't think any of us were necessarily pumped that he was trying to slow down the return of football. Yeah. And so that what was, did he feel about Sankey, our commissioner from the SEC? Probably hates Greg? him. Greg? I would assume that he said some things about Greg Sankey. Probably hates Bob Harper. General Bob. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Alan Sills, I believe he had a qualm with as well. But Dr. Florio has been, see, I just did it. Mm -hmm. That's rude of me, and I did not mean that. It was just in my head. Florio has been doing this for so long, though. He sold that blog. He sold blogs mm -hmm. to, like, every network at this point. He is the landing page or was the landing page for a lot of coaches around the NFL and their computer. And I think we've always said that. And, and given, I was reading Pro Football Talk when I was in high school. Bingo. That's like 45 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> we use his stuff Shit. all the time. All the time. Or, yeah. He should, hey, wouldn't you, I would pay money to watch a series like if Chris Sims held a camera behind Florio, Florio found out the address of people that have said negative comments to him. They opened the door and he punched him in the face and walked away. I'd like that. I would watch that. I, I would too. Sure. His fists are going to get sore though. If I, if well, I mean, some people are going to come back at him, and then we get to see a little scuffle, and Florio wins. No, but he's going to have to punch a lot of people, I think. Like because he, oh. he he stands under the rim though. Oh yeah, all well, the time. Take a couple then. And Florio aside, I'd watch anybody do that. Yeah, you're right. Just someone walk up to someone's door with someone filming them behind them. Who was that redheaded dude, UFC fighter? Only Mitch if the person was really a hateable person that opened the door, though. That's the only way you want to see that. What was it? Bully a bully or something? MTV had something where... Oh, Mayhem Miller did it. He used to go beat up boys. Oh, yeah, the redhead is. guy, right? Yeah, he Mayhem is yeah, he's proper, properly named Mayhem Miller. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah he's had a lot of awesome. things happen. He, he would, his actual name is Jason Miller, I guess. Um, birth name is Jason Miller. Mayhem is okay. his name. and that makes, I think he, it was on MTV where if it's... Bully beat down. Bully, yeah. yeah, yeah. He would knock on the door <laughs> and say, how you doing? Today's the day. That's awesome. He would take him into like, a, like an octagon, I think, and they'd have like a mixed martial arts not, fight. It was amazing. Bring this back. Yeah, the amount of lawsuits, I assume. Oh, oh plenty. So the best, though, is when the bullies were up for it. Like, yeah, let's go. Like, 
ready and willing to step in there and then still got their ass. Yeah, well, at least the bully went down swinging, mm-hmm. as opposed to some of those like catfish that get caught and are like, oh, my life has been so hard. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. So I need to ruin other people's. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> and you start like, they're like turning baby face almost. Yeah. That's what a lot of these bullies are doing. Just like what fucking Corbin's trying to do right now. Yeah, that, that guy. guy. That guy's loser. a bully out here 